Let's say you reach into your pocket and you pull out a fat roll of ones with a big old rubber band around them and you want to buy a Bluetooth speaker. Which one should you get? Should you just spend a few of those ones on this Soundcore Boom 2 at the retail price of $129? And as far as I know, Soundcore ain't never sold nothing at retail price. It is literally always Black Friday at Soundcore.com or even Amazon.com when it comes to a Soundcore product. Or do you skip paying your utilities? Maybe, you know, you skip out on the light bill or the water bill or even your rent so you can bust out this JBL Extreme 4. This one is brand new on the market. It's not in the US yet as of the time of shooting this video, but I'm estimating that it would retail for $379 or $400, depending on, you know, what they want to do with it. But man, that's it's still gonna be $400 in some change after tax, man, versus the 129 you would spend on the Soundcore Boom at 129. And the reason why I'm even bringing this up is because these speakers are very similar. Oh, they are so similar. Now I know the hardcore JBL fans are gonna say there is nothing similar about these speakers, but man, let me tell you, my friend, there are a lot of similarities here. First of all, we got the size, okay? This is the JBL Extreme 4. This is the J this is the uh, Soundcore Boom 2. As far as size and portability, they are right there neck and neck with each other. As far as in or durability, they are very close. I'm not gonna say they're the same because JBL, as far as durability, this thing is like a hand grenade. You can throw it off the top of a 25 story building and it would. It seems like it would make it. It's got these rubber bump stops right here and it's got a recessed, um, uh, uh, what is this, the, the passive radiator. It's got the recessed passive radiator right here. It's got the wrapping or the, the let me take these. Let me take this thing off because it's just dragging on the table. Hold up, man, hold up. Okay, back to the durability. It's got this mesh around it, you know, that keeps it from getting scratched up. You got rubber and neoprene here. And it's just a very like robust and sturdy feeling speaker, man. But it is IP67 rated, so it is submersible in water and you can get some uh, dust and, you know, sand resistance and stuff like that. Now, when we move over to the Boom 2, you just get the IP67 rating. You do have, I think this is like some kind of metal right here. So if it scratches, it's gonna scratch, okay? And this is plastic. If it scratches, it's gonna scratch. But it doesn't feel like a cheap plastic. It actually feels very durable. But if you drop it, there could be some cracking going on. There is least, it, at least it's gonna scratch, right? So it's gonna be ugly. So in the way of durability, some people would say that the JBL Extreme 4 is definitely the speaker to get, okay? And you're gonna pay for that with that extra few hundred dollars you gotta spend on it. You're you're spending it on the actual build quality. And that's definitely one thing I would say. With a JBL speaker, build quality is always top notch. Anyone else, I don't know, it's a hit or miss. <laughs> but with JBL, you know, sound is subjective, but you cannot deny the JBL build quality when it comes to a Bluetooth speaker. And we're seeing that it's a night and day contrast here. As far as style, man, that's gonna be up to you. Whether you like this whole football look or whether you like the classic boombox look. It's gonna be up to you, but durability definitely goes to JBL. And so, uh, well, yeah, let's call it endurance and durability. It's gonna to go to JBL because of the build materials here. And it's actually significantly heavier than the Soundcore Boom 2, which brings me to the way you actually carry this thing. Now, JBL, I just took it off. It has a strap, okay? And you put it on these two shackles right here, one and two, and you can put the strap on there. Now, the thing I like about the strap is that it's pretty. It's branded with JBL branding all over the place, but they also give you this Corona opener right here. There it is right there. It's a classic JBL trait and I love it. I'm here for it all day. But with a speaker like this, I actually do not prefer a strap. I would actually prefer a speaker this size to have a handle. This is still a palm size speaker. It's just barely beyond palmable for a lot of people. So I don't feel like uh, like a strap, like a shoulder strap is absolutely necessary. I would really just rather pick it up like this. And since this one is actually kind of lightweight, you can just pick it up. But the handle do or the strap does come in handy when you got both of your hands full and you just strap it over your shoulder or cross body and you can carry your speaker that way. So once again, JBL has a strap that you can cross body or over the shoulder. Whereas the, um, the Boom 2 really just has the handle, which I'm totally okay with. Matter of fact, I actually prefer the handle. So that one's gonna be up to you as well. As far as charging these bad boys, they both charge up via USB-C input, okay? And there's the speaker booty, it's wide open on the uh, Boom 2. There's your USB-C input, but you also have this charge IQ output right here where you can hook up a USB-A and charge literally anything, whether it be an iPhone or 
uh, or an older iPhone, I should say, or you know, anything, right? You can just charge out there because that's a standard USB-A. Boom, close that speaker booty to maintain that IP67 rating. And then we'll move over to the Extreme 4, which only has this, the USB-C, which is great because we should be moving to one cable these days, USB-C, but we do not always have a USB-C to USB-C cable to charge out of this thing because, you know, most of the time it's gonna be USB-A to USB-C instead of USB-C to USB-C. So be careful with that if you wanna charge. You still need to maintain having a cable that is USB-C to USB-C if you wanna go with the Extreme 4. Now, since I brought up charging, let's go ahead and discuss the battery life for both of these, starting with the Boom 2. You're gonna get up to 24 hours out of this thing, provided you do not have it up full blast and the base up is on and you got the lights on. Oh yeah, it does have lights. We'll get to that in a moment. But you get up to 24 hours, provided you actually follow the guidelines to maintain or to achieve that battery life. Then when you move over to the Extreme 4, you're getting the exact same 24 hours of battery life. And you actually do have a uh, battery extender mode, which will help you achieve that 24 hours of battery life. But let me just tell you, the sound is not that great. It just pulls all the life out of your music, but you can get up to 24 hours of battery life out of the JBL Extreme 4. So as far as battery life, they are tied neck and neck. Now, while neither of these speakers can connect to each other, they can connect to other of the same brand speakers. The JBL Extreme 4 can connect via stereo to another Extreme 4, and it can connect via PartyCast to all the other JBL speakers. Uh, but OraCast is what this thing is branded with, so OraCast works a little differently. Uh, if you're using another JBL speaker with OraCast, then you're gonna be you're gonna do just fine. But if you're using one of the older model speakers, the connection method is super finicky within the app, and I absolutely hate it. Now, before I talk Talk about connecting the Boom 2 to other speakers, I want to clear up something. It is not IP67 rated, it is actually IPX7 rated, so take that for what it's worth. Pretty much the same thing, but it is very different at the same time. As far as pairing this one with all of the other Soundcore speakers, that may not be a thing right now, but you can stereo pair another Boom 2 to an existing Boom 2. And speaking of stereo sound, this thing is supposedly playing in stereo according to Soundcore. It does have a racetrack subwoofer in the middle here with two dynamic range drivers or tweeters if you wanna call them that, right there, and you're getting stereo. Same thing, just about, with the JBL Extreme 4. This is supposed to be playing in stereo and that's supposed to be a huge selling point for this thing. But in regards to all those kind of specs and stuff, we get to talk about wattage. To be honest with you, I'm not even gonna bother with the wattage because they lie. Both companies will lie to you about wattage, okay? <laughs> so it, it doesn't even matter because what happens with the wattage on paper does not always translate to wattage in real life. And I'm gonna tell you, actually I'm gonna show you in real life, but I'll go ahead and tell you about it right now. Because when I'm listening to the JBL Extreme 4 at about 50% volume, it sounds pretty good. Uh, inside and outside. But let me tell you, outside is where is not where this thing is actually going to perform well. It actually, in my opinion, it needs walls to bounce off of, and that's when it starts to sound really good. It really captures the low end very well, and it, it balances out the sound really good when you're listening to it by itself. But it's not until you start comparing it with other speakers to where you start saying, damn, what happened, JBL? Because once I turn on the Boom 2, that's when I'm like, wow, this is a great speaker. It doesn't capture the low end as well as the JBL Extreme 4. It doesn't like get that super low bass, you know what I'm saying? But it does mid bass of the, in the upper bass extremely well. And the sound is pretty balanced and, it's, and they both have EQs, right? So you can EQ them to your liking. But I will tell you in my personal opinion, the oh, dude, I, I gotta tell you, man, I, I hate to break it to you guys and hurt some of you guys' feelings, but as far as sound quality goes, I gotta give it to Soundcore, man. Uh, like everything is not always about low end bass. It's about overall sound quality and what you actually want to listen to. And in my ears, my ears are just like pleased a little bit more when I'm listening to the Soundcore speaker, especially at high volume. And let's talk about that next. What I noticed right offhand at 50% is that this speaker, the JBL Extreme 4, is actually playing kind of low. You know, it's, 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 of course it captures the low end pretty well, uh, actually very well, but as far as the overall volume, it's very low and very controlled. You know, it sounds, it sounds great. Very, very well balanced, especially when it's indoors. But I do notice the volume boost and the overall sound boost as far as like fidelity within the Boom 2. It just sounds better at 50% volume. And then when you crank it up to like 80 to 100%, 
At 80%, they both still perform okay. Uh, but with the with the uh, Extreme 4, it really does start to just kind of, it, it's just the bass. It's just almost stripped completely out of the speaker. And I understand the, the companies do this to preserve uh, distortion so you don't have it at high volumes. And, and also to preserve battery life, I'm guessing. But it really does ruin the experience with the JBL Extreme 4. And also the mids start to sound kind of just, ugh, almost like hollow at, at 80 and 100% volume. 100% volume, this speaker is absolutely trash. 80% volume, it's, it's, it's doable, okay? It's very doable, you just don't get any bass. But 100% volume, this speaker sounds like hot garbage. But when we move over to the Soundcore Boom 2, 50% volume, you're getting a great sound out of this thing. It's actually kind of impressive uh, to be the speaker size that it is. It's pumping out quite a bit. But co conversely, when you crank this thing up to 80%, you'll start to notice that you do feel the bass pull back a little bit, but it's nowhere near as bad as what you would get with the, with the Extreme 4. And at 100%, that's when you start noticing uh, that's when you start noticing just mild distortion in some of the mids and a lot of the highs. They start to kind of scream at you at 100%. So if you're going to be at a park or something and you're blast blasting this thing at 100%, I'm talking about the, the Boom 2, I don't know if you'll even notice the distortion because like I said, it's very minimal because if you're blasting it full blast, that's probably because you're at a park or a beach or something like that. And you really can't hear fine details, you know, when you're blasting next to ocean waves and people talking and stuff like that. So you probably will not notice it. I just want to let you know that that's what I heard. But at 80 and 100%, the Soundcore Boom 2 is the champ in my opinion in this particular speaker comparison. Whereas the JBL Extreme 4, it performs best anywhere between, uh, I hate to say it, probably 30 to 60%. Once you start going past 60%, it just starts to fall apart. And that just brings me to what my overall opinion is. Paying almost $400 for a speaker, uh, it sounds great when you get it and it's by itself, but then when somebody shows up with something like this, and they play it and you're like, wow, that, that sounds really good, man. Where'd you get that from? What is that called? And then you look it up on Amazon and figure out they paid $129 for it. It actually kind of pisses you off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That you paid that much money for this and they're running around with this and it sounds better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's I'll, I would be pissed if, you know, like I showed up somewhere with this thing thinking I'm balling and, you know, because it feels good. It, it feels like money and it looks great. It, it looks fantastic, man. Got a detachable battery. You can swap it out if you want to. It's got all the stuff you would want. But then you paid $400 for it. And then your homie that came to the same place is rocking this thing for $130 or less. And it sounds, let's just call it just as good, if not even better than what you just spent like $300 more for. It, it, yeah, it, that would piss me off. Either way, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is, I, I like value, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like value in the things that I buy. And I, I, of course I want them to sound good. Both speakers sound good. It's just that one is gonna sound better at higher volumes and it's gonna perform better outdoors. And that speaker to me is gonna be the Soundcore uh, Boom 2. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let you decide. I'm gonna play your little speaker sample here. But until I see y'all again, y'all make sure y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.